Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby, if you didn't know, and now you know, and it has been so long since we just vlogged life and vlogged in the apartment. It has literally been nothing but cheerleading the past like month and a half. Obviously, you guys can tell it's been cheerleading video after cheerleading video. Well, not even just cheerleading videos, just competition after competition after competition. And that is basically all my life has been. I feel like all of February and the beginning of March, and now I'm like, Okay, we need to we need to get back on track. We need like a huge reset day. It has just been cheer sport NCA UCA season is literally like nothing else matters in life. Like there's no not necessarily no time to do anything else, but like those weeks consist of prepping for a competition, going to the competition, recovering from said competition, packing for the next competition, going to the next competition, and it's just like it's almost inevitable to get like run down and sick. So I've literally been doing nothing but like prioritizing the competitions and just like literally surviving. And now that it's all over, I'm like, one, where has the time gone? And two, I just like don't feel like myself because I've literally been doing nothing to prioritize me as a person. Like everything has been so cheerleading focused and we're changing that this weekend. I need to do a huge reset and in typical Gabby fashion, that starts with cleaning the apartment because I can't feel good about myself until my entire space is clean. So of course, Justin's out of town this weekend and you guys are gonna be who I'm talking to all weekend. So we're just gonna do a little vlog of the weekend doing a huge reset. I just want to clean everything. I need to like unpack from UCA still. I've just been like, PR has been, piling up in my bedroom we need to go through all of that get everything in order and just feel better about me like i don't i don't know something has just been off i think it's just because i literally have not everything else has been put on the back burner the past few weeks and i don't feel good when i do that so we're gonna get back on track and it's gonna start today however i did have to take justin to the airport at like four in the morning so it is now two o'clock and I'm just kind of getting started on my day and we have to be at the gym tonight. So we only have a few hours right now. I'm currently making girl lunch, not girl dinner. Um, we're gonna make my buffalo pasta because I don't ever get that anymore because me and Justin eat like actual real adult human meals. So when I'm home alone, I crave my like girl dinners. So we're making that right now. And then I think we're just gonna start with the bedroom, unpacking, cleaning everything out, going through PR, and doing all of that. But welcome to the video. So here's the current state of the room. It's not like terrible. Obviously we're so packed here. And then this is just, well, that's just and stuff, but honestly, I'll probably try to make that cleaner too. This is just the PR mixed with, these are all clothes that I wanna bring for Europe and I don't necessarily wanna put them back in my closet because I don't wanna forget about them. I wish so badly we just had a house already one but like at least just an extra bedroom so i could have like if i had one more clothing rack that i could just leave for either like brand deals i needed to film or just like europe clothes oh my god it would make me feel so much better because i've been doing now here's the thing are any flights booked to europe no are clothes already bought for europe yes priorities um but it's not like a oh i hope we're going to europe this summer like we have an obligation that we have to be in Europe for. So like it's happening. We're just like monitoring flight prices and making sure we get them at the right time. But honestly, we need to do that soon because we got a lot of places to book. We're going, starting in Paris, we're going Paris, Mallorca, the Amalfi, like Positano. And then I want to do a few days in Capri and then Lake Como. Well, no, then we're hitting Rome and then Lake Como. We're doing a lot and I'm very excited. And I have a lot of clothes for it. Like this, oh my God, I got, a package from Beginning Boutique and a package from Petal and Pup and the cutest clothes. I'm obsessed with this. I'm sorry, this in the streets of Italy? Are you kidding me? It's gorgeous. I've not tried it on yet, which maybe I should do. Well, honestly, I got time. We're not leaving until July, but I have all these clothes. Maybe that'll be the one thing I leave out. Ugh, then it's going to start a pile, though. I don't know what else to do with it. I don't want to put it away in my closet and I don't necessarily have like an extra section of my closet that I could use for just like your clothes. I did get the cutest pair of shoes though from Justin Diamond from Valentine's Day for me. And 
I needed a white pair of sneakers and I've been on the hunt for a while of like a pair because last time when I went to Italy, I literally wore, they were hideous. I wore these like giant chunky, it was like the, the monster stompers, that era. And I wasn't planning on wearing those with every outfit, but the other shoes I brought gave me the worst blisters. So I had to just wear the comfy ones because we were doing so much walking. So I needed to get like a comfy, really cute pair of white sneakers that I can wear with all my dressy outfits because I'm not a heel girl. I'm not much of a sandal girl. Like I'll bring a pair of sandals, but I'll probably end up wearing these with pretty much every outfit and I'm obsessed with them. They're Vejas, love them. So, I mean, I could take these out, honestly. I could start wearing these. Anyway, I'm gonna unpack. We're gonna clean up this corner. And then I think all we'll probably have time for is the bedroom today. We'll probably try to vacuum and, which actually works out because the Dyson vacuum battery does not even last long enough to clean the entire apartment, which scares me a little bit because when we get a house, there's no way I'm gonna be able to vacuum the whole house. So we'll vacuum the bedroom today and that way we can let it charge before we do the rest of the apartment. But it is, I literally just looked at the time and I already forgot, 2.57 right now. Let's see how fast we can get unpacked, clean up this corner of the room, and then we'll tackle the other things in here. It is four or five, everything's officially put away in the corner besides just the bag of clothes. Suitcase is finally put away, which feels so good to like officially put it away away because I feel like it's literally just been sitting in my closet because it's been packed and unpacked and repacked nonstop. So I think I'm just going to vacuum, like deep vacuum, move everything around, really get everything vacuumed good. And then I feel like the only thing I really have left to do in the bedroom is like probably like Swiffer the tiles a little bit. And I think we should be good here. So four or five right now. We got about like two hours until I need to like stop and get myself ready for practice. So we're doing good on time. Oh, I also have a load of laundry going right now, which has been long overdue. I need to do that probably like all week and I just now got to it. I did it. Bedroom is done. Everything is cleaned. Like literally every inch of this place. I mean, I didn't like scrub everything down, but everything that needed to get done besides the bedding, I'm going to do that probably maybe like Sunday or just like later on in the weekend because whenever Justin isn't home, this one is in bed with me 24 seven. So I just want to like clean it after he's gonna be in the whole bed the whole time. But I still really want to redo this room because who knows when the heck I'm moving out of this place. We still obviously haven't found a house. We've been still searching, but obviously no luck yet. So I just like don't love this bedroom. It's just, I love the bed frame. Just the color scheme is giving, I mean, I'm pretty sure someone on Instagram called it like fraternity. And I just don't, I don't love the decor in here. It's very chooky, but it's like, is it worth it to redo it now if we're like planning on moving as soon as we can find a house? But then part of me is like, well, it kind of makes sense to redo it now because when we buy a house, we're going to have to be shelling out so much money on doing all the other rooms. And I know for sure like this bedding and everything is going to stay, well, like the bed frame is going to stay for the guest room. We want to get a king bed for our room 100%. But like the, the bed frame is so nice. So I know we're going to keep it. I hate the nightstands. Like, what am, what was I thinking? What is that? I just, like, don't. And then we have, like, a Louis Vuitton print here, another Louis Vuitton print here, neon sign there, neon sign there, which I like this neon sign. I like the On Cloud 9, but I just don't love it above, like, our main bedroom anymore. So I think we might get pictures here. I think I'm going to get some, like, mixed tiles to put above the bed. And I really need to find new nightstands. So maybe I'll do a whole video series on that soon, like, redoing this room because... I just don't love it. There's a lot that, not really, that was really dramatic, but like, I feel like I just wanna do little things in the apartment to make it a little bit nicer for the time being because I hate this place. <laughs> Good morning, it is Saturday. Yesterday I ended up just going to practice. We had a great practice and then we ended up canceling this morning's practice. So we get a full day at home, chicken man. Yeah, we do, just you and me, home all day. We have practice still tomorrow, but we canceled today. So we got a full day. We got lots of extra time now that I wasn't expecting. I think we're going to go do a little 12, 3, 30 at the gym. I'm a little nervous because obviously with my schedule, I have the luxury of like going to the gym during the week. And I don't know if the gym is going to be crowded on a weekend or not. I don't want to go and have like a million people there, but I have completely fallen off my routine with all the competitions and that's one thing that I was like really proud of and like really in the groove of at the beginning of the year and then completely lost all of that so I want to get back into it so I figured today of all days if I really am just like home all day doing nothing 
it's a perfect day to kind of start getting back into routine again. So I think we might go to the gym, just pop on a YouTube video, do a little 12, 3, 30, and then start the rest of our day. Here's the fit. The set is from Gymshark. It's like their newest collection. It's so cute. Is it the most practical for like a hardcore workout? Maybe not, but like I'm literally just going to be walking on a treadmill, so I got nothing to worry about. And this could be rough. I haven't done 12, 3, 30 in quite some time. We've definitely switched our workouts to more like kettlebell workouts. We've been doing a lot and I've been really liking it, so I haven't done any type of treadmill anything in months, so let's see if we survive. I can't wait to have an iced coffee when I get home. That is always my motivation in the mornings. I ended up only doing 20 minutes mainly because I forgot to change the time because like the automatic time of a treadmill workout is 20 minutes. And then by the time the 20 minutes was up and it like immediately went to the cool down walk, I actually like felt really good and was really proud of myself because I didn't hold on pretty much the entire time. Like it kind of felt easy. So I kind of wanted to stop while I was ahead. And I am really proud of that decision because at least I got up, I went, we got 20 solid minutes and it was like 20 really good minutes. And I feel really good coming out of it mentally, which is honestly like what I go to the gym for. I don't have some type of like fitness goal, to be honest. I just like the way I feel after. So I wanted to stop while we were feeling great, but now I'm in a dilemma. It's gorgeous outside. There's no one at the pool, but it's only 11.44 right now. And now with the time change, like the best time to lay out is kind of like one to two, but I'm sweaty. So if I'm going to the pool, I need to go now. So. I feel like, honestly, the Florida sun is probably still strong enough right now anyway. The only thing is I don't have a book. I finished Iron Flame, and now I have not started something new, and I have not even, like, thought of starting something new. But the other day I laid out without a book, and it is so much harder to just lay in the sun without reading. Like, when I, when I read, it goes by so fast, and it's so enjoyable. So maybe we'll, like, listen to a podcast or something. But... I'm gonna miss sun time tomorrow because I'm gonna be in the gym. So I think we're gonna try to just go get some vitamin D for an hour since I'm already sweaty. Then we'll come back in and take a giant everything shower. I need to like super wash my hair and do the whole nine yards. I need to like, my skin has kind of been freaking out too. So maybe we'll figure something out skincare wise we can do. And then it's finally time for a nice coffee. As much as I want one right now, I know that I will enjoy it more when I finish all of these things and I just get to like sit down and chill and drink a nice coffee. So let's pick out a bikini. Let's go to the pool. Suit is from Kulani Kinis. I have a code with them. I believe it's Gabby F10 for some money off. Hands down, I feel like what I'm reaching to the most right now, bikini wise, and especially if like spring break, summer, whatever's coming up, definitely recommend Kulani Kinis. They're my favorite. They have the cutest patterns and just honestly the best fit. Why do I feel like this isn't in focus? Whatever. Um, these lounge shorts are from Gilly Hicks. Every time I wear them, I feel like I get questions about them. I have them in just about every color. And I'm obsessed with them. Um, of course, now it looks like it's a little cloudy, but honestly, that's probably a good thing because if it's not cloudy, it's absolutely brutal and way too hot to even lay out. It's like nice to get a break in between. So I'm going to find a podcast. We're going to go lay out for about an hour and then we'll do everything else. It's been like on and off cloudy, but in a good way. But I've been listening to the Trisha Paytas. I don't know why I take those off. I can't see. The Trisha Paytas podcast with Kristen McAtee. It's been nice. We're just chilling here. Although it's kind of starting to get crowded, so... I'm glad we came early and we might not stay much longer. We are finally clean. That was long overdue to wash my hair. I also did, I just got a PR package from Briogeo. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I did a deep conditioning mask. So we'll see if that did anything, if my hair will be extra soft or not. I probably didn't let it sit long enough to be honest. Got kind of bored in there. Oh. I need to get more of this. <laughs> There's definitely some in there. I can feel it, but it's not coming out. But it's a 10. It's what I like grew up using, and then I tried other products, and I've liked the other products too, but I want to say my mom, like almost every year for Christmas, I feel like we get that as a stocking stuffer, except last year, which is why I'm clearly running out. Why is there a huge knot in my hair? I hate wet hair. Despise it. So I don't want to put heat on it, though, because I really have no reason to look good right now. So we're just gonna let it be and hope it dries fast.
We've been doing such a simple recipe and it's still so good. So the butter pecan I put in first, like the syrup, and then I do the Starbucks blonde espresso pod, just one shot, and then almond milk, and that's it. And it is, mm -hmm. that was worth the wait. So good. Um, I have to podcast soon with Lexi, but until then, I'm probably just going to sit, drink this, watch Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Lexi, like, forced me to watch it, and it is, it's just drama-filled, so of course I'm obsessed. Watching that, and then I think we're going to make the feta pasta for lunch, which I am very excited about because I don't ever make that when Justin's around for some reason, and I got everything for it, and I haven't made it in forever, so we're going to do that today, and I, my mouth is, like, salivating thinking about it. It's so good. Done podcasting. Finally, what I was going to say we've all been waiting for, but you probably haven't. I have been since I've ordered these groceries like three days ago. Time to make the feta pasta. I think I'm just going to make like a whole box of pasta, honestly, and just have leftovers throughout the weekend. But they didn't have a block of feta cheese, so I'm using crumbled. But cut up the tomatoes, put the feta cheese in, olive oil, garlic, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, crushed red pepper and some garlic powder on top. Gonna let this bake for like 30 minutes. I don't think because it's crumbled, I don't think it'll take that long. And then in the meantime, we're gonna boil some pasta and then mix it all together. I am so excited. Cheers, everyone. That is so good, it is so creamy. The pasta put me into a literal food coma. I took a nap, which was not planned. I just literally couldn't keep my eyes open. So took a little nap took Cloud outside for a really long walk because I called both of my grandparents and I was just on the phone for quite some time, which was nice chatting to them. But I did wear a sweatshirt outside and I was dying because it's like 85 degrees out today. We are finally cleaning now, starting with the laundry, mainly because I had to wash towels and I had to move those to the dryer. So I was like, all right, can't keep putting this off. I need to put my clean clothes away because I need the dryer to be empty. So we're starting there, then we'll move on to actual cleaning but it's like seven o'clock now it's a little later than i wanted to get started but i literally have nothing to do tonight we have all night so we have plenty of time we'll be fine <laughs> Used to have each other's playlists No, no Used to be each other's best friends Yeah And now we go our separate pathways But your heart's still in mine Yeah And I think we are done for the night It's now 9.20 I think tomorrow I'm just gonna do like Kind of a normal Sunday reset kind of thing Wash our sheets. That's honestly might be the only thing left. I think I got pretty much everything else done. Um, I did just order, I was craving something that's not water. So one, I got more limoncellos, although this is the smallest container of limoncellos I've ever seen. Um, then I wanted, oh my God, this is so melted. Okay, this needs to go directly in the freezer for a long time, obviously. I wanted a chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwich and I guess I didn't have that. So I had to go with that. But what I really wanted, was some ginger ale for some reason. I don't know why. Well, this is why. I wanted a Shirley Temple. Obviously, I ordered from Walgreens because I randomly got a 50% off coupon on Uber Eats. And I was like, honestly, you can't pass that up. Like 50% off. All this was like $18, which just this laundry detergent itself was like $15. So honestly, that was a steal. Normally I'm like, okay, yeah, me just ordering things is because I'm lazy, but like that was a good deal. Anyway, I really wanted a Shirley Temple. I don't have grenadine. I might order grenadine off Amazon, which it won't come today. And it won't come, it says, until Monday. So I don't know if it's worth it. So for right now, these are so itty bitty, which is fine, because that's all I need. I just like am craving something not water. And ginger ale sounded so good. And honestly, I'm going to look through houses. My realtor just sent me some more updated houses on the market. I haven't done a house hunting part two. I already started filming it, because I already toured one house in this like next set of houses but i feel like now is the perfect time to really go tour more because everything's just kind of slowing down into worlds like i'm not really out of town at all and i really just want to get out of this apartment like i can't wait to clean a house i know that sounds crazy hello happy sunday it is the next day it is 
6 p.m. on Sunday. We had practice this morning and then I got home. Chipotle has chicken al pastor back, so that was my first stop after practice. Went to go get Chipotle for lunch and then I had a raging headache. So it is now, what, probably like three hours since I got home and the entire three hours was just trying to get rid of my headache. And it's finally gone. I finally feel better. So we're gonna keep everything going, but I have an exciting package. I placed an order on Skims because they came out with a new product. And like I said earlier in this video, I am already on my prepping for Europe trip outfit wise. And this was so cute. I've been wanting one of these from Skims for a while. I don't know what all of a sudden changed and I just clicked. Oh my God, the color is so good. I don't know why all of a sudden I was like, okay, yeah, I'm finally gonna order it this time. But I got a like bodysuit onesie thing. This color is gorgeous. I got it in orange. Oh my God. So cute. Like this in the streets of Europe with like a little white button down on around it, or I guess even without, I kind of want to try it on. I love this. The color is so bright. Look at it. Miss Kim Kardashian knew what she was doing. On today's to-do list, I think I decided against washing the bedroom sheets today because Justin doesn't get back till Wednesday. I'd rather have them like fresh and clean for when he gets back. So I think instead today, I'm gonna wash the pillowcases and the blankets in the living room. I washed the towels yesterday. I need to fold those up and put those away. And then I think clean out the fridge and the pantry is gonna be on today's to-do list. There's like, I love when we keep leftovers and then we completely forget that they're in there and no one eats them. So I just need to clean out some of the like Tupperware containers that we have in there. Pantry just needs reorganized, mainly just like this shelf right here. Everything has just gotten thrown on this shelf and it was so nice and organized. You can see like the structure of everything is still kind of there. I don't think this one's bad. Yeah, like those are still kind of organized. So it's mainly just this shelf and maybe a little bit here and there. Maybe look at some expiration dates and see if we've kept everything too long that needs to go. Clean those out and honestly, that's pretty much everything. We've done a good job. I just hate for some reason when I do these like deep cleaning days, like I took everything off the counter yesterday. I scrubbed the like backsplash and everything. I don't know what I expect, but like I, I want to be able to notice a drastic difference and I'm done cleaning. I put everything back and I'm like, it looks the exact same. Like nothing looks different. You know what I think I want to do? Now that we've restructured the like aesthetic of the kitchen, I need new kitchen towels because I feel like we normally have like the themed one for holidays, but I don't really decorate for anything until Halloween and Christmas. So we have like nothing in these next coming months at all. I kind of want to put, bring in some like spring colors. Maybe I'll go buy myself some flowers in the next few days. And I don't know, but I don't want colorful kitchen towels. Anyway, I'm going on a rant, but maybe I'll look on Amazon for just like beige and white kitchen towels. Those ones just don't look good and they don't like bring the kitchen together. Although the kitchen is still not together because we have a bright blue air fryer. I still need to get a new one, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? Like it works just fine. Although I think I might give my grandma that one and then, then I can get a new one. Anyway, long time talking. Let's get to cleaning. And maybe we could try it next week again. But I don't want to think what's toxic. But who cares? You said that we're over. Hands under covers alone. This time. But everything I see still reminds me of you. Here is the pantry after so much better. It doesn't, I mean, especially this shelf looks way better, but pantry's clean, fridge is all cleaned out. I washed so many containers between the pantry and the fridge. Oh, why are you guys lowering? And so those are all drying now, but I just looked at the clock and I'm shocked that it's 9.44. I did not realize it was that late. So I think we're just gonna end the vlog here. I still have a few days until Justin gets back, so I might honestly film another vlog i'm debating on tomorrow i kind of want to like kind of want to go to trader joe's kind of want to go to home goods for some reason and i don't know why because here's my thing could i decorate the apartment more and make it cute yes we have nowhere to store anything else in this apartment like 
ever we are filled to the brim on storage here so then i feel like it's kind of pointless because where is it going to go maybe i'll just get some fresh flowers and maybe that'll make me feel better i don't know something needs to happen although maybe we'll go to home goods anyway for kitchen towels and we'll see what else i haven't been home goods honestly in so long but i don't know if i should do that tomorrow or not or if i should just have a productive work day we'll figure that out but hope you enjoy this video i feel so much better now that my space is clean this is always like the first step to feeling back to being on a routine back to my normal self i'm excited to just get back on a workout routine and yeah feel better about life again because i got back from those competitions and like reality hit me in the face and it was like hey you haven't done literally anything besides cheerleading and it hit me like a truck so that's what this weekend was for i feel so much better i hope you guys enjoyed coming along the process maybe this motivated you to clean everything out it feels so good after the fact doing it, but that's everything. So I am probably just gonna hang out for like an hour or so and head to bed. Hope you enjoyed, love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video.